Is cereal soup? Is cereal soup? Is cereal soup? No. Yes, it's no. liquid. It's liquid that you eat. What else is it? Soup is hot. <laughs> no, there's cold soups like cucumber soup. I've had cold cucumber soup. You've had this argument before, haven't you? Yes, I'm, I'm well prepared. <laughs> I've ever said hey there before. That was a weird way to start a video. Anyway, I'm Danny and I'm here in Kentucky with Jeremy Rusco, the CEO of Dynamic Discs. We're here in Kentucky for the Bowling Green Championships and I've learned three things about Kentucky so far. There's lots of farms, there's some pretty cool bridges, and apparently there's some pretty good disc golf. We're here with Eric and Tina Oakley and Paige Pierce. We're doing a luck of the draw thing tomorrow and basically we're gonna have a really good time. I'm gonna add motorcycle sound effects. Woo! This one goes vroom vroom, and this one goes So Tyler Searle, RV driver, two disc challenge runner, and Tetris extraordinaire, teach me how to load an RV. All right, hey, what's up guys? Um, First off, thanks to all you guys that have ever helped me load the RV. It is awesome. If you've ever seen me do it, you know that there's a way to do it. It goes in one way, it comes out one way. What I always do is when we come in, I've got all my cardboard on this side, so the cardboard always comes in first. And then we bring the disc bins in next. And it goes DD first, and we're gonna put it right back in the score. So I gotta move all this stuff first. So we're gonna put all the discs in, and they go right here, right underneath my water coolers. And we fill up this square right here with, with all the discs. And then we're gonna bring the shirt bins and the accessory bins in next. And now the tables are getting clear, so you can start like folding up the table skirts and putting the table skirts away. And then the tables are gonna slide in and tonight, we're going to stand them up shoot, right here against the door. Yeah. That's okay. how you put together an RV. What's the fastest you've ever done? Uh, I probably like 12 minutes. When you get six, eight guys, girls, people helping out, guys like Jeremy Rusco carrying yeah. bins. We don't mess around out here. We do four bins at a time. It goes fast. <laughs> what about over here? How do, how do you load this RV? So okay, tables. very important and annoying is that this table has to go in first. So we have to take everything oh, off no. of this table, put this table in. How many times have you forgotten it? Uh, we're pretty good at it now. Okay. And then you can put this many bins in, but then you have to put the tables in before, before you the fill the, the rest of the bins in. That took like two minutes. Ty, you're an amateur. <laughs> All right, we're back at the hotel now. My camera actually died right after check-in. There was a, a lot of filming of Tina on the scooter, and I think that uh, that probably is what drained the battery. Anyway, we went out, we went out to eat at a place that has fire, so that was cool. Not like fire to eat, just it had fire. It was fire. They've got fire here. Um, so that was pretty sweet. We're back at the hotel now. I need to get all the cameras set up and everything to film the luck of the draw tomorrow. That's going to be awesome. Um, I'm not sure when that'll come out, but either soon or it's already posted. So either wait for it or watch it because it's going to be sick. I'm really looking forward to it. So I'll see you tomorrow. Soup, Danny. Good morning, everyone. We're here on day two. We're about to head out to go to the Luck of the Draw doubles, and I have a little bit of a conundrum. See, I'm convinced these shorts are red. Roscoe, what do you think? Red? Are they red shorts, or are they like a salmon, or how would you describe them? Salmon red. Salmon red. Okay, just so we're not pink. Raw salmon. As long as it's not pink is all I'm really worried about. Anyway, we're gonna go to the course. We're gonna maybe throw some Frisbees. Maybe we'll just talk to Eric and Tina and then we'll get started with the clinic and the luck of the draw. This is this is an issue. Danny. I've, I've let the entire community down at this point. Danny, what is going on? I can't find my mustache wax. It's all droopy. <laughs> How do I curl the ends? I don't... Where's I the it. stash cream? I had it when we let, it's wax, okay? <laughs> is there a mustache boutique on the way there? I bet we can find something you one. like a like a haberdashery. Uh, sir, here. sir, can we help you? Is the waffle a travel companion? That's his mini marker. AJ couldn't make it here, but he's here in spirit. 
These are like mini marker waffle wardens. Do you think you could use this as a mini? Would you? Absolutely. Oh, 100%. I saw Bobby do this one time in a video and I thought it was really cool. So I'm gonna try and do it and we'll see if I can do it half as well as he can. Let's give it a shot here, okay. So I'm on this camera now, but I'm about to switch to a different one. So, three, two, one. First throw out of the car. <laughs> I'm gonna put it closer than Eric Oakley All right. the basket. And we've got the basket way down there. There it is. Oh, 2019 Lucid X. Give it to Balance. me just, just one more time. 2019 Lucid X. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's so easy! Oh my god. Oh my god. Where is this basket? Right where I'm waiting ready to put the disc. Alright, we just listen for the chains then. There we go. Wait, listen for them. Oh I heard chains. It seemed out. It seemed the wrong time. Yeah, yeah, it was the wrong time. So hole two, I think back when I used to play here, was my favorite hole out here. A nice par four. Um, you could always count on about a two card backup, and it's just a great hole out here. So how does it? What's the shot off the tee here? Uh, shot off the tee is. Probably just a mid-range straight with a little hyzer finish. Ooh. Ooh. That's a gap right there. And if you want to see how professionals play this course, tune in to Luck of the Draw Doubles. Pull out your gatekeeper. And hit the tree. There we go. <laughs> Hello. Would you like to come to the Luck of the Draw? Hey. Let's go. So we just finished Luck of the Draw doubles, and oh gosh, it's windy out here if you don't know. That's Team Eric, and Team Faze just took a picture on the other side. You're gonna have to watch the footage to see who took it down. But uh, let's just say some rings were flashed. So now we're gonna head to check-in, and we're gonna be there while the players check in, we'll talk to some players, talk to some of the pros. It's, uh, it's gonna be a good time. All right. I'm back in the hotel room for just a second. The Fly Mart is literally right out there. Like, you can't see it from the window, but if the window were pointing the right direction, it's probably like a par four. Anyway, I'm back here because I did a lot of filming today and I wasn't expecting on needing to get more batteries, but I have to go get the charger. That's how much footage is coming out. The luck of the draw went really well. The, the, it was a great community there. And it was really cool. Some kids freaking crushed it. Apparently kids are getting better at disc golf. I should be scared. Anyway, people are just getting out of checking in and they're about to go through, I guess it's not the fly mart, it's just a, the area after check-in. But that's where we're heading now. So we've been here for a while. We're hanging out at the area outside of, uh, of check-in. There's been a lot of people coming through, you know, shopping for discs and stuff. I got to say hi to Spout, so that was nice. I've seen three puppies, so it's been a great day. I think, uh, I think for tomorrow, we're gonna meet uh, Eric and Tina somewhere and film some stuff, probably about felons because it's Eric and what he likes talking about but yeah it's been um it's been a great day so far so i think that's uh i think that's about it for today we will probably get food somewhere and then turn in so yeah 
There's another puppy. Day three. Am I doing day three or is it just Thursday? I think it's just Thursday. Anyway, today is the first day of competition for Bowling Green. So all the players are playing and I was gonna go film a bunch of stuff with Eric and Tina and Paige, but they all decided to go see a cave. So now I have nothing to do. I mean, I made it, but I don't think, um, maybe this design is, is not for adults. All right, so I know we're leaving the hotel. Where are we going, Jeremy? Uh, we are headed off to the Fly Mart area, which is the baseball stadium, and uh, check it out and maybe go grab some lunch. Maybe go grab some, I'm, I'm excited about lunch. The baseball stadium's uh, cool, yeah. but lunch is just, more happening today than I thought there would be. Started out tame enough, just hanging out in the hotel room, and then we were setting up for the fly mart. So after the fly mart setup, went and met up with Eric and filmed some stuff about felons because it's Eric. And then uh, I got back and hung out with Tina for a little bit before we had to set up with the fly mart again. Welcome to the fly mart! <laughs> Tina's over there. Danny said he was stealing my scooter, so I think I'm going to take this nice camera. Bye, Danny! <laughs> oh, that was a really cool cinematic shot right there. Mm -hmm. we got to make a scoot video, like a skate video. Scoot. Do like the fisheye lens and everything. <laughs> i got a kick flip on this thing. Here we go. <gasps> oh, it's crushed it. <laughs> you got it. Oh! <sighs> now... We're all set up for the fly mart here. We have the dynamic discs tent, the uh, the whale pants tent, and then Paige Pierce's tent. And we're just kind of waiting on the people to come. They've got music going in there, so I can't really record audio. So I take this, I'm taking this opportunity out here to tell you about Tyler and his, and his RV that he drives around. Tyler is from Florida. He's one of the first people that Jeremy hired. He's part of the Chasing the Chains RV. And what that means is he gets some pretty special discs. He's got Moonshine Wardens. He's got Lucid X Felons. He's got some gems on this RV. So if you ever hear of it coming near you, definitely go check that out. So that was insane. I met so many people, so many of you who watch our content, so many people who are playing in the tournament. We talked about a lot of Frisbees. If you came up and said hi to us at the tent, thank you so much. It's always great to meet y'all. It's been an insane trip. Uh, we've got to get up early and travel back to Emporia to get ready for the glass blown open tomorrow. And so I think that's it for the Bowling Green Amateur Championships. It's been insane. Kentucky's been awesome. And it's been great meeting y'all. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for all the great content we have coming out of GBO. And always remember, slow is smooth, smooth is far. See you at GBO.